This video is brought to you by my buds at Commonwealth Press. Contact them at cwpress.com for all of your t-shirt and printing needs. Hey, what's that? You need a sticker printed for your business? For your little league team? Oh, they can do that too. You don't have a design or logo? Oh, boy. Go over to cwpress.com, tell them you need one, tell them John Bear is your bud. Just go over to cwpress.com. Welcome back there, buds. Next up on the bench is a fun little project for us. I will be making a frame for a photograph that I took of a beautiful old chocolate lab named Hoyt, who is a ripe old age of, I believe, 14 years. He lives on a farm. He loves belly rubs and treats, and most importantly, he is one of Bucko's best buds. So let's get in here and start making this frame out of some old reclaimed oak I have, and we'll get it out to the owners and meet Hoyt. I get started by cutting the board to rough length, then after we get the width on the table saw, we'll bring it back and square up the ends. Now that everything is all cut to length and width, you can see that they're not all the same height. So we'll get them on the planer and get them all flush. Now we're all nice and flush. I'm going to glue this frame up with some oak dowels and here I'm just marking where those dowels will go. This dowel centering jig makes quick easy work of drilling those holes for the dowels. I'll provide a link in the description of how you can purchase one of your own. These are very easy to use. All you need to do is line up the notch that aligns with whatever size hole that you would like to drill. I also wrap a piece of tape around the drill bit so each hole will be the exact same depth. To measure the dowels I just pound one in until it bottoms out. I mark that length and then I just go a hair under double that. After they're all cut to length, I just round over all the edges on the sander so they go in nice and easy. It's time for glue up now. I like to get that glue in the hole and on the dowel and then get it all spread around with a brush. Once I get all the clamps on, I just wipe all of the excess glue that's squeezed out with a wet rag. Now that glue is set up overnight, I'm going to route a rabbit around the inside of the frame where the picture and the glass will go. And before I do that, I just always like to put a little bit of paste wax on the bottom of the router just so it slides nice and smooth.
Since the router leaves a rounded corner, I just go around on all four corners with a chisel to square them off. Now it's time to make a panel for the back to hold it all together. And it just wouldn't seem right if I didn't pull out the wood burner and put his name and date on there. To finish this piece, I'm just using this amber colored shellac. It gives the wood a beautiful glow. And if you only do one coat, it doesn't get too shiny or look too overdone. And I just wanted to put something on here to protect this wood since some of it is pretty brittle. Once that dried, there were a few shiny spots, so I just knocked them down with a rough scuff pad. Now all that's left to do is to get that back panel nailed in and get the hardware on. I'm pre-drilling the holes for the nails so I don't have any crazy accidents. I'm just using one of the nails in the chuck of the drill. That will give me the exact size hole that I need. Put those nails in, nice and easy. I'm sure some of you may be wondering, John Bear, that backside looks a little bit sloppy. That's unlike you. Well, as Jay-Z once said, I've got 99 problems, but the backside of a frame ain't one. I used two high hooks and some picture hanging wire since this frame is a little on the heavy side. Last but not least, I leave my mark on it. You can pick one of these stickers or a t-shirt up in the John Bear online merch store. The link is in the description. Now it's time to go visit Hoyt. Is that your buddy, Buck? Look, there's Hoyt! Look at Hoyt! Who's a good boy?